Florida confirmed Friday that four people in South Florida had contracted Zika from local mosquitoes, the first such evidence of transmission in the continental U.S. The mosquito that transmits Zika is already in San Diego. It transmits West Nile as well. Joining us on the Cogo News Live line is Mosquito Steve, Mosquito Specialist Steve Moore. And Steve, should we brace ourselves for Zika here? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know if you should. Thanks for having me on, though. Um, you know, if you've got the 80s Egypti or 80s Albopictus mosquitoes, then you should. But I will tell you, there's actually some um, indication studies that are showing that the Culex mosquito could actually uh, transmit, carry and transmit the, the virus as well. So if there are people that travel overseas and bring Zika to San Diego, then yes, it is possible that you guys could end up with a similar situation. So we just had a, a confirmed case of West Nile. Uh, is this mosquito difficult to eradicate? Oh, my gosh, yeah, yeah. It's actually, it, it is with the products they're using. So they're using these, these pesticides that they've been using for years. And I, and I got to tell you guys, I'm very, very conservative. I'm not a tree hugger, but I, I just, I can't stand that we use pesticides like we do. And we've been using these pesticides for decades, and mosquitoes actually, um, they, uh, they adapt very quickly. And they have built up a resistance to all the pesticides that they're using. And so they're not having, uh, they're not having much success uh, with what they're spraying on them right now. So what are, what should they be using? Do we even know? Well, uh, they, they don't know. I know. <laughs> so I literally, the reason I'm Mosquito Steve is I stand outside and count how many mosquitoes land on me. I've done this hundreds of times. I've tested my products and developed products, and then I've tested all the products on the market. And what I do is I stand out there and I do a pre-count, and then I, I put the stuff all over me and I count. And I've had more than 900 mosquito bites in one night. And I can tell you right now that the products that, that there are out there, most of them don't perform near as well as what they say. Like DEET, for instance, breaks down in about 45 minutes in every single study I've done. So if that's what you're wearing to protect yourself, then it's not going to protect you for very long. So, um, so I would look at some of the natural products. Picardin is actually uh, was more effective in all my studies than DEET. And then my repellent is actually more effective than any other repellent on the market. Hmm. So, I mean, what's in it? Can you? Well, it's essential oil, so it smells good, too. There's a lot of people that will smell better than they've ever smelled. Uh, so it smells good, and it works well, and it lasts longer. Uh, so it's just a combination of essential oils. I actually work with a guy from California, a chemist there, that is uh, the pioneer in essential oils and insects. And, um, I mean, he's incredible, and we developed these products, and uh, they really are. They're more effective than the chemicals. So we're trying to get the word out there. Hopefully you guys will have heard of me there here in the next couple of years. Um, but, yeah, our products are absolutely amazing. Well, in the meantime, what can we do to keep from being bitten? Okay, so it's personal responsibility. It really is. That's what it comes down to. So, you know, um, it, I would spray my yard, um, even if it's, See, I'd be more concerned about West Nile virus. West Nile virus is, is more deadly, and um, and so and I've got West Nile virus in 2008. Even if you don't die from it, it's it's a horrible process to go through. So I would be more concerned about that. So uh, what I do is I just I protect it by um, I spray my yard down. Um, I mist in the air when I'm going outside, and then I put on repellent when I'm going to be outside. And that is the best way. Just take care of yourself, be responsible for yourself, and then you won't get it. All right, that is uh, Mosquito Steve, who uh, is talking to us about this mosquito that transmits Zika. It's uh, it's a mosquito that's already here in San Diego. That there have not been any Zika cases here. I do want to um, I do want to stress that.